naked it's tragic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could have it it's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number 26, and we are live for WWE Main Event. And after tensions were running high on Monday Night Raw, what will happen tonight as the road to SummerSlam continues? Already signed for this evening's event, here in Cleveland, Ohio, a big-time six-man tag team matchup featuring the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, his disciple Buddy Murphy, and all day, Austin Theory as they are set to take on Mansoor, Mustafa Ali, and the current WWE Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Six-man tag team collision coming up in your main event here tonight. We're going to kick things off with a one-on-one -on -one contest featuring one half of the Mysterios. Dominic is in action. This should be a good one to kick things off. Dominic and Rey Mysterio have been nothing short of impressive as of late in the winning column more times than many. Recently on Monday Night Raw, Rey Mysterio owns a victory over Chad Gable. Dominic Mysterio owns a victory over Otis. The pairing also owns a victory in tag team action over Alpha Academy. And then, of course, this past Monday Night on Raw, the Mysterios picked up a tag team win over Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza, Legado del Fantasma. So the Mysterios have been on a roll as of late. And they're looking to keep the momentum going here tonight as we kick off main event. Dominic in singles action for the first time in quite a while. Looking forward to this one, and I'm looking forward to that six-man tag team match later tonight. A lot of tensions running high in that contest between Seth Rollins and Mustafa Ali. Can't wait to see what happens later tonight, but Dominic Mysterio opening us up here in Cleveland. Going one-on-one -on -one with a member of Lucha House Party, Grand Metalik who's looking to impress and get back in the winning column here tonight. Last time we saw Menelik was one-on-one -on -one against Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship. Menelik came up short, but as we mentioned, he's looking to get back in the W's here this evening. And his opponent, representing Lucha House Party from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Grand Metalik! Of course, Grand Metal League's tag team partners in Lucha House Party, Lince Dorado and Kalisto, currently competing in the Cruiserweight Eliminator. It'll decide Santos Escobar's opponent for the Cruiserweight Championship at SummerSlam. Of course, this past week on Raw, Kalisto unsuccessful in the Triple Threat Contest against Angel Garza, and of course, the winner of that matchup, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Still one more match to go in the opening round of the Cruiserweight Eliminator. It'll come up this Monday night on Raw, when we see the one and only Ricochet, Humberto Carrillo, and, of course, the other member of Lucha House Party, Lince Dorado, in that triple threat matchup. Of course, the winners of those contests will meet in a few weeks' time on Monday Night Raw. And the winner of that match will again meet Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World at the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. But here we go with Grand Metal League one-on-one -on -one with Dominic Mysterio right here tonight. What a great matchup to kick us off on main event and Metal League impressing already. Look at that maneuver. Sent Dominic Mysterio for a ride, followed it up with the drop kick, and now Metalik, king of the ropes, living up to his name with the springboard moonsault. Now Dominic trying to fight back here. You remember Rey Mysterio and Graham Metalik several years ago competed in a instant classic on Monday Night Raw, an event that took place from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Graham Metalik, familiar with the Mysterios, was definitely familiar with the big match atmosphere. But tonight's all about on one hand, keeping the momentum going. On the other hand, is building some momentum for the first time in a while. As there's Dominic Mysterio off the moonsault into the cover here on Gray Metalik. Gets the two count, but Metalik getting the shoulder up. As we mentioned, Dominic and Ray have been nothing short of impressive as of late. Four victories in their win column over the last number of weeks in singles and tag team action. Ray Mysterio and Dominic, you gotta wonder where their intentions lie. Could they be looking at possible future individual championship opportunities, whether it be for the Intercontinental or maybe even the Cruiserweight Championship. On the other hand, the tag team champions, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. Look at Metal League again from the ropes. As we were mentioning, the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar, 
they're currently in need of the next challengers. It's a couple of weeks ago. That's Metal Leak. Look at that tilt to world corkscrew from the top rope. Exclamation point on Mysterio, but Mysterio getting the shoulder up. And as we were mentioned, it was a couple of weeks ago, right here on main event, that Eric and Ivar retained the WWE World Tag Team Championships over Legado del Fantasma, Joaquin Wilde, and Raul Mendoza. That, of course, was coming just days after their title defense and another successful one against Danny Burch and Ernie Lorcan at Money in the Bank. Viking Raiders have been on a roll atop the tag team division. I'm sure they are looking for their next challengers. And the Mysterios just may be at the top of the list to challenge Eric and Ivar up next. But regardless, Dominic Mysterio putting Gray Metalik into the corner. Looking to keep the action going here. Oh, look at this. Just sends Gray Metalik from the top down to the floor below. It ain't pretty, but it's certainly effective. That's definitely going to do some number on Gray Metalik. And it leaks up. He's dazed and confused and on spaghetti legs as Dominic Mysterio, look at this, coming for the top rope with a beautiful cross body down to the floor, taking Metalik out. Two. Dominic continuing to impressive, to be impressive, excuse me, in his young career. Coming up on two years here in the WWE, Dominic Mysterio gets better and better by the match. This is certainly a tough task against a veteran in Grand Metalik tonight, but you got to give it up for Dominic as he is hanging in there against Metalik. Nice shot by Dominic. Look at the fast pace of Dominic Mysterio to get away from Metalik, but Metalik was right there with the fireman's carry. And now a drop kick to the back. Metalik looking to not only pick up the victory for himself, but to bring some good mojo back to the Lucha House Party locker room. Especially with Lince Dorado, who's got that Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator matchup. Coming up on Monday Night Raw, once again, it will be Ricochet, Humberto Carrillo, and Lince Dorado in that triple threat match. It was a few weeks ago here on Main Event where Ricochet and Lince Dorado went one-on-one. -on -one. And on that night, the one and only was victorious in that Cruiserweight affair. It'll be very interesting to see how the Cruiserweight Eliminator continues to play about as Dominic Mysterio with a beautiful Tornado GDT lands a flush on Grand Metalik, but Metalik gets the shoulder up. Great matchup here to kick us off on main event, and as you already know, still to come tonight, the six man tag team collision as Seth Rollins, Murphy, and Austin Theory take on the phenomenal AJ Styles, your current WWE champion, as well as Mansoor and the man who has been a thorn in the side of Seth Rollins for months, Mustafa Ali. A lot of tensions running high in that six-man tag team matchup. AJ Styles, on the other hand, has got Edge coming up at SummerSlam, cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. They're going to go one-on-one -on -one in the main event. He's got that worried about in the back of his mind. A lot of stories to follow here as we progress on main event on the road to SummerSlam. Meanwhile, Graham Metalik on the apron here. Looks like he's got something in mind. Springboard hits the crossbody on Dominic Mysterio. They call Grand Metal League the king of the ropes for the balance of maneuvers like that. Mysterio getting the shoulder up, though. It's been back and forth. Very exciting contest between these two cruiserweights thus far. Grand Metal League looking to kick into another gear. Grounded and pounded on young Dominic here. Remember, Dominic Mysterio is out for a couple of weeks with a concussion. Came back on the Monday Night Raw after Backlash a few months ago, but still, it's always going to be in the back of your mind. Don't want to Re-aggravated injury. Dominic trying to fight back over Metal League. Nice forearm shot there. Nice clothesline. And Dominic's feeling it here. Grand Metal League is getting caught in the crosshairs of Mysterio. Mysterio takes him out. And now Dominic goes for the moonsault again. Metal League extremely fast to get out of the way. Hits the overhand chop. Now going to look to work over Dominic Mysterio here. Slow down the pace as Dominic was looking to rev it up. There's him getting the shots. Back and forth we go, teeter-tottering with this thing. And now Mysterio has got Metalik in a precarious position, hitting the ropes and dialing the cell phones with the 619. Graham Metalik down and out. Dominic Mysterio hitting the maneuver flush. Pauses for a second there, contemplating his next maneuver, and he hits that springboard senton. Dominic into the cover on Metalik. But Grand Metalik gets the shoulder up, and I got to aid that to Dominic taking a pause there and taking a moment to contemplate his next maneuver. He should have went for either a springboard maneuver possibly or just went for the cover right away following the 619. Metalik in control here, goes for the springboard senton, but Mysterio's up. 
Dominic's got to try to mount some offense here. Nice Hurricane Rana takes Graham and Alika off his feet once more as Dominic Mysterio heads to the tippy top. Nice splash from the top. A classic Mysterio maneuver, and Dominic picks up the victory over Graham Metalik. A fantastic cruiserweight affair to kick us off here as Dominic Mysterio continuing the momentum for the Mysterio family here tonight. Graham Metalik putting up some great offense, but Dominic continuing to impress for the Mysterio family. 619, the Centon, and that splash right there does the trick. And off another victory for Dominic Mysterio, bringing it back to the Mysterio locker room. You got to question what's next for Ray and Dominic. Multiple victories, one after another, is championship opportunities in the near future for the Mysterio family. Let's keep the action rolling here on WWE Main Event. It is time for a little women's division in ring affair as Casey Catanzaro is set for a second matchup on the main roster. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Glen Ridge, New Jersey, Casey Catanzaro. Well, we want to take you back to a couple of weeks ago here on WWE main event, Casey Catanzaro making her main roster debut against the veteran Mickey James. Casey definitely impressing on that night, giving Mickey James absolutely everything she had inside the squared circle. But Mickey James, the veteran, as we mentioned, able to piece together the right maneuvers. The Mick kick followed by the DDT, as you just saw, putting away Casey Catanzaro in her main roster debut. A disappointing loss for Casey as Mickey got her hand raised on that night. But the story progresses here as Casey Catanzaro has challenged Mickey James to a rematch right here tonight on main event. And the veteran and the former women's champion in herself, Mickey James, accepting the challenge of the young Casey Catanzaro. So we have ourselves a rematch set for here on WWE Main Event. Women's Division action. I'm pumped up for this one. It was an exciting affair a few weeks ago. Let's see what round two has to bring us as Mickey James is on her way to the ring. And from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey. Mickey was searching for a victory after numerous losses when she met Casey Catanzaro in the ring a couple of weeks ago. And as you just saw, Mickey James got her hand raised on that night. The former multiple time women's champion, future Hall of Famer, and the veteran of the ring, Mickey James, is looking to get back in championship opportunities and looking to raise the stakes in the women's division. But she's got to rewind the clock to two weeks ago here tonight. She has accepted the challenge of Casey Catanzaro, but it could be a big win for Mickey James if she can get yet another victory and back-to-back -back W's inside of the ring. A lot on the line for both women here as we kick off this rematch between Casey Catanzaro and Mickey James. As Mickey immediately going for that STF maneuver on Casey. Trying to tap her out. Casey is early on here, able to break the hold of Mickey James. And of course, as we progress with this women's division matchup, I want to take you back to this past week on Monday Night Raw. Where we had an incredible one-on-one -on -one affair between Io Sarai and Shotzi on that night. And through thick and thin, through hell and high water, Shotzi was the one to get her hand raised in that incredible contest. And we've been talking a lot now that Bianca Belair has defeated Rhea Ripley. On two occasions, dating back to that no holds barred match a number of weeks ago, Casey Catanzaro going for the Phoenix Splash, but Mickey James gets out of the way. But as we were mentioning, Bianca going to be looking for her next number one contender, going to be looking for her next challenger for the WWE Women's Championship. If Mickey James can get yet another victory over Casey Catanzaro here, you got to believe Mickey is going to be in line for a future championship opportunity after mounting two big victories over the young upstar. Nonetheless, Casey Catanzaro sending Mickey James into the corner, looking to keep the fight going here. Very innovative, very fast is Casey inside of the ring. Delivers the drop kick to the veteran. This is what Casey's got to do to defeat Mickey James here is stick and move and use her offense to her advantage. 
It's very unique offense, and as we mentioned, very fast pace. Is Casey there? Nice maneuver with the Hurricane Rana. Taking Mickey James off her feet, and now she's heading back to the top rope. Could be looking for that Phoenix Splash. Gets the height of it, and absolutely nails it. You just see the height on that Phoenix Splash from Casey into the cover as Mickey gets the shoulder up. Continuing to impress nonetheless here. As she did in her first matchup against Mickey James two weeks ago. No matter the result, as we are going to see, Casey is definitely impressive in the early going of her main roster run. Casey catching the kick of Mickey James. Hits the clothesline here. Able to take the veteran off her feet. Mickey goes for the kick, and Casey takes the legs out from under her. Very impressive series of maneuvers. She's eyeing up the veteran. And a nice cartwheel leg drop. Innovative offense from Catanzaro here. Not going for the cover just yet. Going to look to keep the momentum going. And she hits that 360 recall knee. Casey into the cover. That could be all to put Mickey James away, but James gets the shoulder up. Well, Casey had her there. Off that 360 double knees. That's enough to knock almost anybody out. But I guess Mickey James built just a little tougher. Casey looking to keep the offense going. She's been in control for the last few minutes. You got to give it up to her. She has been able to put the veteran away, but she's definitely sticking and moving and striking where she needs to. Mickey tied up on the apron, but there's that. Able to fight back over Casey Catanzaro here. Sends Casey to the ropes. Mickey James will look to mount some momentum for herself and get back in control in this contest. Not looking to take a loss to the young upstar here in the dunk, here in the main roster. As we are having this rematch here tonight. As Casey's just unloading on Mickey James. Casey's looking impressive here and she hits another drop kick. Mickey has not been able to mount some offense in the last number of minutes. Sends her under the ropes. Casey Catanzaro catches her here. Nice tornado DDT. Spiking Mickey James right on the chrome dome. Into the cover. And Casey gets the victory in the rematch. We'll split the decision. Match number one goes to Mickey James. But the rematch tonight calls for Casey Catanzaro to be on the winning side of things. Absolutely impressive in this contest. She controlled those last few minutes. Mickey James really falling apart during the last few minutes as well. But in the end, Casey Catanzaro mounting the right offense off that Tornado DDT to get the victory in this contest right there. Here is your winner, Casey Catanzaro. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute here. Shayna Baszler's hit the ring. Casey Catanzaro just trying to celebrate her victory. And the Queen of Spades is out here grabbing a hold of the young upstart from NXT. And Shayna Baszler just attacking the arm. I don't know what calls for this, but Shayna's absolutely taking issue with Casey Catanzaro here tonight. Grabbing a hold of the arm again and just snaps it. Tackles her down, Shayna Baszler is beating the hell out of Casey Catanzaro here. This is not a match, this is just an assault. And I have no idea what the hell absolutely called for this. But Shayna's just beating the hell, pumbling the arm. Out of Casey here. Casey Catanzaro gets the victory, but clearly Shayna Baszler has picked the fight with her next victim. Well, breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, coming up at the SummerSlam pay-per-view, Drew McIntyre, after pinning Sheamus last week on main event in the tag team matchup, has earned himself an Intercontinental Championship affair coming up at SummerSlam. It's a Money in the Bank rematch, one-on-one. -on -one. But coming up this Monday night on Raw, Drew McIntyre's partner from main event last week, Pete Dunne, has a chance to add himself to the Intercontinental Championship matchup. It's McIntyre versus Pete Dunne. If Pete Dunne picks up the win, then the Intercontinental Championship becomes a triple threat match coming up at SummerSlam. Big news for the Intercontinental Championship, and we are set for our six-man tag team match main event right here, right now. And here comes the Messiah, Seth Rollins. 
It looks like he's taken this Messiah thing to a whole nother level. But nonetheless, it's time for action. The following contest is a six-man tag team match. Introducing first, from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! Well, let's recap the recent history between Seth Rollins and Mustafa Ali. It all started back before the Backlash pay-per-view when Mustafa Ali defeated Seth Rollins in the first round of the number one contenders tournament. Seth Rollins took issue. The two men met again in a tag team matchup at Backlash where Seth Rollins teamed with Buddy Murphy to take on Mustafa Ali and a partner of his choosing. That ended up being Dominic Dijakovic, where Dijakovic and Mustafa Ali would pick up the victory in the tag team matchup on that night. Rollins and Ali met again in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup weeks ago where Ali picked up the victory. We didn't see Seth Rollins for a number of weeks after that. And then when Mustafa Ali met Austin Theory on Monday Night Raw, the Raw after Money in the Bank, Seth Rollins made his presence felt and beat the hell out of Mustafa Ali. So Rollins is clearly not done with Mustafa Ali, but I gotta, I gotta cut myself off here because this is interesting. The, the disciple Buddy Murphy is enter, entering the ring himself tonight. I don't know what's up with this. And from Melbourne, Australia, weighing in, 213 pounds. Murphy! I gotta... I, I, I was so focused on Seth Rollins and Mustafa Ali's recent history, I didn't even mention... Why did Buddy Murphy not come out with Seth Rollins? I don't know if there's some dissension there. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, Buddy Murphy was not in the corner when Seth Rollins was in action a couple of weeks ago on Raw. Very interesting. I don't know if Rollins is... Kind of getting Murphy out of the line here. If Murphy's taking a spot of his own, I, I don't know what's going on there. Very interesting to point out. I don't know if it's dissension or what, but nonetheless, Murphy is here in the ring and is set for action. And here is participant number three of the one side of this trio's contest. The self-proclaimed future of the WWE all day, Austin Theory, who has been in the winning ways as of late, looking to continue that tonight in this six-man tag team collision right now on main event. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Austin Theory said on Twitter recently that he was done playing games. It was all business for the all-day young upstart. The man said he was going to start proving why everyone calls him the future of the WWE. Where he defeated Kushida recently, as well as R Truth on Monday Night Raw. So, a couple of victories for Austin Theory in recent history. But again, he's looking to keep things going. He's got a bone to pick with Mustafa Ali as well, as we mentioned, as the two men fought on Monday Night Raw a number of weeks ago, where Mustafa Ali picked up the win over all day Austin Theory. So, there is your one side of things in this six man tag team main event. Let's kick off the other side Mansoor. Set for action here. And Mansoor's got a bone to pick with the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, after those two men went one-on-one -on -one a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. And from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, weighing in at 175 pounds, Mansoor! Mansoor, a friend of Seth Rollins, or excuse me, a friend of Mustafa Ali. And that is what led to the two men facing each other, Mansoor and Seth Rollins a few weeks ago on Raw as Mansoor was trying to stick up for his friend after Rollins post-match assault a number of weeks ago. Rollins, of course, was victorious over Mansoor and was pretty aggressive during the contest, making sure he was literally beating the hell out of Mansoor on that night. But here comes the man of the hour, Mustafa Ali! And from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali also took to Twitter recently to tell Seth Rollins that even though he has owned his ass over the last number of months, if Seth Rollins isn't done with Ali, Ali's got no problem giving him another round inside the ring. And that kind of leads us here tonight with this six-man tag team matchup. Mustafa Ali has been on a roll 
We've seen him in a lot of big time matches. He's certainly given himself a career resurgence. His wins over Seth Rollins, being a participant in Money in the Bank. Ali is back in the limelight, where he feels, and I believe as well, he should be. An incredibly talented young man, keeping his momentum going, and looking to get the winning side, be on the winning side of things here tonight. But here comes the last member of this six-man tag team matchup. He is the WWE Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. You want to talk about being on a roll? Look no further than the man flying the WWE flag. Coming up at the SummerSlam pay-per-view, AJ Styles is set for a WrestleMania rematch. Edge will be cashing in his Money in the Bank contract one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship. That main event is signed for SummerSlam. AJ Styles defeated Edge at WrestleMania. He's been on a roll ever since, winning the WWE Championship at Backlash, retaining it at Money in the Bank. Edge taking down the briefcase in Philadelphia, and now the two men meet in the main event of SummerSlam with the richest prize in the business, the WWE Championship, up for grabs, coming up at the biggest party of the summer. It is time for your six-man tag team mega main event. Right here tonight, Rollins, Murphy, Theory versus Mansoor, Ali and Styles. Let's get things underway. Seth Rollins and Mansoor pick it up where they left off from Monday Night Raw a number of weeks ago. Should be a good one here. A lot of tensions running high in this matchup. Seth Rollins with issue with Mustafa Ali. I'm sure Mansoor wants to get back at Rollins. Austin Theory wants to get back at Ali after the defeat a couple of weeks ago. Buddy Murphy's even got a bone to pick with Mustafa Ali as he's been tied up in this whole situation. Remember a few months back on WWE main event, it was the final main event before Backlash. Ali actually defeated Buddy Murphy on that night. AJ Styles now involved in this as well as his road to SummerSlam continues. Ali and Mansoor certainly recruited a mega tag team partner for this main event here this evening. And think about it on the other side of things. Rollins, Ali, or excuse me, Rollins, Murphy, and Austin Theory, they thought they were just out for revenge here tonight. And then, of course, the addition of AJ Styles to this match. Now a possible future championship opportunity opens up for one of those men if they can defeat the opposing team, but more specifically pin the WWE Champion in this contest. A lot of interesting situations, a lot of tensions running high and possible opportunities for the future riding high on this six-man tag team matchup tonight. The disciple Buddy Murphy in there with Mansoor right now, and I still got a question why Buddy Murphy wasn't in the corner of Seth Rollins when he fought Mansoor a number of weeks ago on Raw, and now tonight, Rollins seemingly making Murphy enter by himself. As if he doesn't want Murphy sharing the spotlight with the Monday Night Messiah. We can only speculate here, but we know the big head of Seth Rollins, so sounds about right. All day Austin Theory now in here with Mansoor. Mansoor going to shoot him off into the corner. We got a tag to the man who has been full of momentum as of late, Mustafa Ali. And we're picking up right where we left off again on the roll after Money in the Bank, Austin Theory and Mustafa Ali. Ali again was the victorious man of that equation on that night. Defeating Austin Theory in an incredible matchup on Monday Night Raw. And again, it was after that matchup where Seth Rollins made his return for the first time in a number of weeks since losing to Ali in that Money in the Bank qualifying matchup where he showed his face and laid out Ali. This is the first time we're seeing Mustafa Ali back in action since. Austin Theory now working over Ali. He's got a bone to pick with that man. I'm sure he wants his win back here this evening. And Seth Rollins, look at that, taking advantage of Theory throwing Ali to the outside. Rollins jumping from the apron with that senton, crushing the rib cage of Ali, and Theory fouls it up with a suplex to the floor. Ali is going to be feeling that one. Now he just gets thrown right into the cold, hard steel steps. 
These guys are working over Mustafa Ali here. Ali's got to be careful. He doesn't break a rib on the outside of the ring. And necessarily he's in control of that, but that's certainly what Theory and Rollins have been working on here. And Theory follows it up with a shooting star press standing on the outside on the floor, crushing Ali's rib cage in between a rock and a hard place there. And Theory's in the ring, but needs to pace the mind. And Mustafa Ali, he's in there now, and hits the crossbody on Theory. Mustafa Ali trying to mount some offense here. Turns his, oh yeah, it turns his attention. To the opposing corner he was trapped in. Now a hurricane run on Austin Theory. Mustafa Ali doesn't want to take a shot at his momentum here tonight. We've named all the victories that we've seen him in recently. He's been nothing short of impressive. Absolutely giving himself a career resurgence. Sunset flip here. Theory rolls out. Now Ali, powerbomb on Austin Theory. Mustafa Ali looking impressive in this trio's contest. Into the cover on Theory here. Looking to put him away early, but Austin Theory gets the shoulder up. Ali looking good, surviving some hard-fought offense. From Austin Theory, the last number of minutes. Now Theory grabbing a hole of Ali. We talked about their one-on-one -on -one match a number of weeks ago. It's a one-on-one -on -one rematch I would love to see in the near future as these two men going at it. As Theory now shoots Ali off into the ropes. And Austin Theory, look at that discus forearm. They have knocked Ali out cold here as AJ Styles getting in to break it up. But Ali, I believe, also got the shoulder up at the last second. Oh, wait a minute. Austin Theory grabbing a hold of AJ Styles. Styles counters. Meanwhile... I believe Ali just made the tag to Mansoor. So we have Mansoor and Austin Theory as your legal men in this six-man tag team main event. I get a little of this. Nice arm drag by the cruiser right Mansoor. Austin Theory's in the wrong corner right now. I'm sure Seth Rollins doesn't like what he sees out of all day Austin Theory. Now Theory throwing him into the corner. Theory tagging in Rollins. Murphy yet to be involved in this contest. As Seth Rollins working over Mansoor. Mansoor looking to get back at Seth Rollins after losing to him a few weeks ago on a roll. We mentioned how aggressive Rollins was in that matchup as the WWE Champion AJ Styles has now been tagged in. And look at the one-on-one -on -one match we have for you here. AJ Styles and Seth Rollins. AJ with the clothesline, but I leave all day Austin Theory tagged in himself on Seth Rollins. AJ doesn't realize, now Theory coming from behind, grabs a hold, nice backbreaker to the WWE Champion. Some nice tag team work, like it or not. The self-proclaimed future of the WWE as he goes for the moonsault, but the WWE Champion gets out of the way. AJ Styles is a lot of his mind as of late. The WWE Championship will be defended at SummerSlam against the Rated R Superstar Edge. And remember, in that match, Came to light, AJ Styles went one-on-one -on -one with John Morrison on Monday Night Raw. And Edge made his presence felt in that matchup, nailing AJ Styles with a spear from behind. It was then that Edge staked his claim that he was going to be cashed in the Money in the Bank ladder, or excuse me, the Money in the Bank briefcase, that he won in the Money in the Bank ladder match in Philadelphia at the SummerSlam pay-per-view for a WrestleMania rematch versus the WWE Champion. Murphy gets tagged in, but AJ Styles... Coming at him with a crossbody, he follows it up with a knee, but Murphy gets out of the way. The Disciple in there with AJ Styles, what a one-on-one -on -one match that would be in the future. As Murphy just sends AJ Styles flying over the top rope. Now look at this, Buddy Murphy tries to go for the corkscrew, AJ Styles gets out of the way though. These guys can't seem to catch each other here, Ali, or excuse me, Murphy and AJ Styles. Too strong, too fast for each other. This match progresses here. We're at a bit of a stalemate here. AJ Styles with a nice kick. Now grabbing a hold of the Disciple. All that signature offense takes Murphy off his feet. AJ heading to the tippy top here. Murphy's on a knee. AJ coming from the top with the axe hammer. WWE Champion's looking good in this contest. Going to look for that knee that he's trying to hit earlier. But for a second time, Murphy gets out of the way. AJ just can't connect. With that knee, as now Murphy using his strength to his advantage. Nice sit out power bomb. The WWE champion is in trouble here. He doesn't want to risk injury on the road to SummerSlam. 
Seth Rollins tagged in. AJ Styles right there, though, to grab a hold of the Monday Night Messiah. AJ tags in Mansoor, the WWE Champion, looking to catch his breath, but not before. We see a little double team action, double hip toss, and they follow it up with a pair of kicks. AJ, Mansoor, and Ali. Got to give them credit. They're looking good in this contest. Mansoor sending Rollins to the outside on the apron. And now we got a tag to Mustafa Ali. And this is the the one-on-one -on -one meeting we've been waiting for. Ali and Rollins in here for the first time. We know Ali wants to get his hands on the Monday Night Messiah after that attack a number of weeks ago on Raw. As Ali, look at that for the corkscrew, but Seth Rollins sidestepped it. Had AJ Styles in his hindsight. Rollins and Ali now rolling right out here at ringside. Ali trying to get a hold of Rollins. Look at this. Taking the legs out from under him. This thing has definitely escalated between these two men past the point of wins and losses inside the ring. It's now just become a fight over the last number of weeks. Seth Rollins made it that way, and Ali is willing to play the game. As Ali is just throwing Seth Rollins around here at ringside. This is not what Seth Rollins, I'm sure, wants. I'm sure he wants to be the aggressor. Wants to beat down Ali. Ali get back into the ring after Rollins eats the cold hard steel. But hey, Ali's going back out. Goes for the senton and he hits it. The same maneuver Rollins hit on him earlier in this matchup. Ali giving Seth a taste of his own medicine off that maneuver. Now he sends him back into the ring. And now we got Ali versus Rollins. Yet again inside the squared circle. The story between these two continues to progress. Ali, look at that, came into the ring. Took Rollins off his feet. Didn't catch all of the maneuver he wanted there. Nice drop kick takes Rollins down. Hits him with a senton again. Mustafa Ali. This has been building up for a couple of weeks. Again, this is the first time Ali's been inside the squared circle. Ever since that attack by Rollins, Ali jumping almost halfway across the ring with that elbow drop. Rollins laid out here. Mustafa Ali with the big time splash. Ali into the cover. And Murphy in just in the nick of time to break things up. But Mustafa Ali, once again, almost defeated Seth Rollins there. As now he's heading up for the 054 on Seth Rollins. That move has been one of the maneuvers that's put Rollins away in the past. But there's Austin Theory to break it up. And Rollins better be thanking Theory because he just saved his ass in this contest from yet again being defeated by Mustafa Ali. But now Ali is looking to lock in that Koji clutch on Seth Rollins here. All men are brawling at ringside, and we got ourselves a submission hold locked in tight right here at ringside. Not able to put it away, Rollins is holding on for dear life. And Seth Rollins, look at that break it out just in the matter of time there, but he was getting close. It was getting close. And Rollins, look at this, just trying to save himself. The suplex to Ali. Hits the moonsault here. Rollins was feeling the pressure, you gotta believe, off the splash in the 054 and the Koji clutch. He barely survived. If it weren't for his teammates there, he would have been handed yet another loss from Mustafa Ali. Rollins into the cover on Mustafa Ali. It wasn't enough, and now Rollins gonna tag in the disciple. Murphy and Ali, these two have a ton of history outside of this issue with Seth Rollins. And then now part of this issue with Seth Rollins again, Murphy's got his issues. Look at this, Mustafa Ali. Nice innovative offense with the kick. Man, what a six-man tag team match this has been. This is starting to go the distance here. As all six men are laying it on the line in this main event. And Murphy laying out Ali. And meanwhile, Mustafa Ali. Murphy had his back turned. Able to get the tag to the WWE Champion AJ Styles. AJ with the kick. Unloaded on Murphy here. And the Phenomenal One's looking good in this contest. Hits the ropes. And the third time's a charm. He hits that knee on Mustafa, or excuse me, hits that knee on Buddy Murphy that he was searching for earlier in the contest. Shoots Murphy off into the ropes and a beautiful drop kick. The Phenomenal One is looking good. Grabs the hold again. Gonna look to lock in that calf crusher. But Murphy just too close to the ropes. AJ not watching his ring awareness there. Almost had the submission hold in on the Disciple. But too close to the bottom rope. My buddy Murphy unloaded on the WWE Champion. A nice knee. Maybe a bit of knockout blow there. 
Just imagine if Buddy Murphy could get the victory over AJ Styles here. Not only would it be in the good graces of Seth Rollins being the winner, but also for his individual career, getting a win from the WWE Champion could very well put him in line for a future WWE Championship matchup. AJ fighting back off the shot to Murphy. And now follows up with an Insiguri. You can tell we're getting into the later rounds of this contest. The men, they're feeling tired. They're feeling the injuries. All six men are leaving it all in the ring tonight. AJ continuing to work over the Disciple, but there's Murphy there. Counter and out, trying to chop out the WWE Champion's legs. You take out the legs, you're getting rid of a lot of AJ Styles' offense, including that phenomenal forearm from the top. Murphy laying out AJ with that power bomb. He goes to the cover on the WWE Champion, but there's Mansoor, able to break it up. AJ Styles gets the shoulder up as well. Buddy Murphy going to tag to all day Austin Theory. AJ with a nice shot. Catching Austin Theory off his game. Unloading with some offense, and Austin Theory gets taken off his feet. AJ looking to continue the momentum over the self proclaimed future of the WWE. We're in deep championship rounds here. About 10 11 minutes, I'd say, in this contest thus far. These guys are certainly showing fatigue. Austin Theory, though, goes behind the WWE champion. Snaps the hips with the German suplex and leaves him in a precarious position for the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, but AJ Styles pops up. Beautiful arm drag. Rollins and AJ, the two men in the ring right now. Seth Rollins grabbing a hold. Pedigree to the WWE Champion. Seth Rollins going to put away the champion in this six-man tag. AJ gets the shoulders up. Almost putting away the champion there. Imagine the ego boost for Seth Rollins to get that kind of win with his situation as of late. But AJ Styles may have been woken up there, unloading on Seth. Seth Rollins looking dazed. AJ Styles is feeling it. Sends Seth right to the ropes in the arm drag from the phenomenal WWE Champion. AJ stalking the Monday Night Messiah. Grabbing a hold of Rollins. Oh, look at this. AJ Styles. Styles clash to Seth Rollins. Mustafa Ali cuts Austin Theory off. And Team AJ Styles picks up the victory. What a six-man tag team affair here tonight on WWE Main Event. And Seth Rollins. How the hell is he going to react to taking yet another loss? One win or excuse me, one match after another is sending Seth Rollins into a downward spiral. And it wasn't Mustafa Ali specifically tonight, but the phenomenal WWE Champion AJ Styles laying waste to the Monday Night Messiah in the final few moments of this contest. AJ Styles continues to build momentum for himself on the road to SummerSlam. Mansoor gets a hit of redemption over Seth Rollins. Mustafa Ali does as well. But you gotta believe Seth Rollins isn't done with Ali. And I'm sure Ali still wants to get his hands on Seth Rollins. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we'll see you on Universe Mode Episode 27 for McIntyre versus Pete Dunne on Monday Night Raw.